Uh, welcome back. You are watching and listening to Breakfast with Pip and Michael. And it is time for another episode of Andrew Eborn's Fake or Fact. And we are wondering, Andrew, very good morning to good you. Good morning to what you both. What are you going to delight well, us with today? It's an absolute delight. Can I say how much I'm enjoying breakfast with, with Pip well, and Michael? The PM you. is going to be brilliant. Um, as you know, today is basically the launch of uh, Google have come up with their own fact checker about elections because we're going to have more elections. It's the mother of all election mm. years. Mm. We've got most of the world, about four billion people are going to the polls. And in 2017, fake news was the word, Collins words, two words uh, of the year. AI was the word of the year in 2023. Combine the both, and we're living in a diseased information world. So the whole idea about Andrew Eborn's fake or fact is to look at stories in the news and say, OK, this is what's true and this is what's different. And what we've done, Michael, Pip's a regular on this sort of uh, game show, what we've done is basically look at those stories and try to come up with a particular theme. Now, because of your passion for trains, we thought that this week we're going to look <laughs> at some of the glorious train things. And the first one, then, is does this viral clip, it's gone all over the world, Oh, yeah. Viral clip of um, show the very first train. Here's this viral clip, and it looks a bit like this. This is the very first train. It says on social media, it's an extraordinary claim, that uh, basically this is uh, on December the 24th, 1809. And they say that this is uh, a clip of the very first train. I'll let Pip go first, because Michael's a bit of an expert. So what do you reckon, Pip? I'm going to say no, because I'm not sure. Could you get those sorts of pictures in 1809? That no, quality. Very good. No, no, you, no, you could not. OK, so, Michael, you're also saying it's a fake? It's, it, it, it's absolutely a fake. <laughs> One of the very earliest pieces of film that was ever made was made by, the, were they called the Lumiere brothers? They were the Lumiere brothers, very and, good. And it was a train coming into a station in southern France. Absolutely. Uh, their mother, the Lumiere brothers' mother, was arriving on the train. Yes. And so one of the very earliest pieces of cine film is indeed of a train arriving, but it's certainly... It's certainly not that one. Do you know the very first train, when was the very first train? Well, which it's carried very, passengers? That's what you mean by a train. The, I, I would say the first locomotive was a... Tr 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 what was his name? Tr tr <laughs> Trevelyan, yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I would say it, it, it must have run in Cornwall, in his native Cornwall. It, well, uh, yeah, well, it was basically in Wales, and, oh, and we did that. 21st of February, 1804 was the first one. Yeah. Uh, the actual first passenger stream train was locomotion number one, which was Stockton and Darlington Railway. And uh, we've got a picture of that as well. We, here, this is the very first steam train. If you go to the Railway Museum, we've got one of those. There we are. That's what it looks like. And that, that happened um, basically in 1820. 25, so it's almost 200 years next year. Do you know how, how fast uh, it used but, to go? But, but I would say about 30 miles an hour. But that can't be... Obviously, that can't be real either, because we didn't have photographs in... Well, this was 18, taken uh, in the centenary year. So centenary that particular year. photo that was from 1925. Okay. And you say, how fast do you think it was? 30 miles. 30 right. miles. Pip? 20. 20. It's actually only 15 miles an hour. Really, so it's right. almost quicker to run, I would have yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you mentioned the Lumiere brothers. Yes. Uh, and it was, in fact, that first movie which we have. It's a glorious thing. And we've got a little clip of that as well, because I thought yeah. we'd spoil it. Oh, well, help! Oh. I've been doing my homework for you, Mike. Like, this, 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 this is this. So this is wonderful. This is the very first um, real film uh, they had. And this is the days when they used to have films were about sort of 50 seconds or so. Um, and the, the urban myth, well, it's an urban legend almost, is that audiences used to run screaming from the cinema when they saw this train coming towards them. So, Michael and Pip, is that fake or fact? Did audiences in Paris, when they first saw this film, run screaming from the cinema? I, I have been told that people were very impacted by it. They were frightened by it. So, I'll, I'll, I don't know about running screaming, but I'll go for a yes. You're going for a yes? You're saying it's fact? Pip? And I will go no. And well, I can tell you, Michael, you are absolutely wrong. And <laughs> Pip, <laughs> Pip is right. Because what happened, it is an urban myth, it's a myth. And what they sort of called it is uh, cinema's founding myth, they call it. And they had all these professors in Germany look at it. And actually, the first screening was only about seven foot uh, high, the screen. So it wasn't very big. It was a very grainy picture. There was no sound at all. Actually, I was surprised by how good the quality was. Yeah. Well, I think we've enhanced 
advanced it a little bit for you. They, 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 the move brilliant team at GB News, they know what to do. So move, it's move us on to the next one, Andrew, because we're okay, very good. time. Oh, well, no problem at all. So a train in Singapore, a Singapore, a Singapore, <laughs> <laughs> I love it, the end of the pier, you know. A train in Singapore, when it drives past residential areas, little blinds blank out so you don't have to see the, the people. Complete, Is that complete rubbish. Complete rubbish? Are you saying that's fake? Pip? Absolute facts. Absolute fact. Well, Pip is absolutely right again. You've steamed <laughs> ahead. And we've got a little video of that. Very quickly, we've got a video of the Singapore thing. This is the Singapore train driving by. Look, there we go. It blinds out so you don't have to see the residential people. How good is that? <laughs> Do we have time for one very quick one? Yes, we do. Oh, a very quick yeah, one. OK, now this is a, a fake or fact, then. Here's an image, and I've deliberately done this because it's a Michael Portillo train, which I've managed to find. Oh. It is the most gloriously colourful train in India. Here it is. Oh, beautiful. It, doesn't that look wonderful? So it's Michael Portillo, inspired by your sartorial <laughs> elegance, Michael. Um, so, so this is a train, basically, which was uh, decorated to celebrate what's called the Anam, which is the harvest festival, as you'll know, uh, in Kerala in India. So is that fake or fact? The Kerala train? I'd like to say yes. OK, that's you're fact. saying that's fact? Yes. Michael? Well, I better go the other way and see whether I can at last score a point. You're going to say, you're going to say it's fake? Well, I, I can I tell you... It's faked up. That, uh, you're absolutely right. It's AI-generated. <laughs> and I love the idea of a Michael Portillo train. <laughs> well, I was about to say, oh, let's, let's have two trains looking like this. Well, that's glorious. I, mean, I must say, this is genuinely a very interesting exercise, isn't it? Because you're so easily fooled by these mm. things. Well, they, they always say that, uh, that, that, that basically a lie travels around the world halfway around the world before the truth has got its boots on and and never let the truth stand in the way of a good story uh, and this is why we are obsessed with that sort of stuff so that's what we do on Andrew Ebel's Fake or Fact we look at those stories and in a public service what I also love is that people are starting to suggest themes they come in and say oh check out this story or that story and so on and so forth and as I say we live in a diseased information world and with elections there can be more fake videos coming out more fake recordings and so on and so forth well I'm so pleased that by an amazing coincidence you thought of a train theme this morning. <laughs> now, during the course of the programme, we have been talking about nostalgic sounds. Um, we're going to uh, end up now by listening to some of those sounds again. Yeah. Take it away. So that was a VHS tape being Bring, slotted in. Brings a tear to my eyes. <laughs> OK, let's, uh, let's hear the next one. course, a rotary phone. In fact, lots of us a still dial. buy these phones because they're vintage. There we are. There's a ah. very similar one, not Hello. quite the same, but very similar one we have in the studio. <laughs> Thank you, it, Model Andrew. It, it was simply called a dial rather than a rotary, and we used to say we're going to dial a friend. It, was, it became a, ver a verb. Yeah, right. and, you, and you'd always answer the phone with your telephone. Oh, here's an all. This one is still played. When, when you go to the opera or the theatre, they want to make the point that you must turn mm. off your mobile phone. They still play that because it's kind of generic. But it is, in fact, the Nokia ringtone. Let's have one more, at least. So this is, this is me in a hotel room <laughs> with my first laptop, <laughs> trying to send my copy down the line to a newspaper that will otherwise not pay me any money at all. And uh, something very old. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Windows Startup. Windows Startup. Windows Startup, we remember that so well. And here is one that is quite old fashioned, but brings back so many memories for us. Well, I, I think that particular sound clue is a way of telling us that we have come towards the end of our programme. And I must say, it be my second breakfast with Pip. I've enjoyed it so much. Thank you for looking after me. Pleasure. Uh, so sorry if I've let the side down from time to time. Not at all. Darren and Emma are here with Saturday Morning Live next. Have a great day. <laughs>